Hey everyone, welcome to the Science Hutch. I'm Hutch and our very special science today is unboxing the full set of the Happy Atoms. We've got the complete set here. We got it on Amazon. It came in another box, this box inside another box. It was shipped really well. We're gonna take this open and see what it looks like. We've also got the app, whoopsie, <laughs> we got the app ready to go right here. Um, it's supposed to, we're gonna calibrate it and see if it actually works. That was one of the biggest issues that I read in the reviews for this. So I've got my trusty scissors here. I'm gonna be careful not to cut myself, but we're gonna get the tape here. So we're gonna do that. Let's see, where else might it be taped? Okay, it's taped over here. So we're gonna do that. Probably on the other side too, huh? Let's check, yep, there it is. All right, let's get that one, there we go. Okay, so three tapes and one. So it looks pretty nice on the inside here. Let's set the scissors down. We've got um, a quick start guide and experiment manual here. And it's nice and glossy. It's got showing some molecules looks like. Yeah, it's nice quality. It looks like it has a, uh, a little uh, QR code there that you can scan to install the app. But I've re we've already got it ready to go. Uh, complete set, 50 atoms, showing you what we have inside, and then nothing on the back there. And then what's this? Ooh, ooh, this might be pretty fun. Oh, it's a fun little like partial periodic table, probably showing the different elements that we're getting in here that we can build atoms. We've got some metals and some non-metals there. We can build some stuff. This looks like a little little bag. It's kind of like fabricy and it's got like some snaps on there. Um, maybe so you can just put your whole set in here or something, or maybe a little, a little play mat or something. I think they might have included it to help scan your molecules and give you a nice contrast to the background. It actually says on the app here, we've gone to the point where it's ready to calibrate the device, and it says ha mat or white paper. So we probably need that to calibrate our scanner. So we're probably gonna put it right on there. Okay, so let's see what else we got. We've got, okay, so this whole thing, it's kind of like, feels like, oh, okay, that's falling out. That's, okay, so it's just this, nothing else in the bottom there. We got our little, these little guys are just free to roll around. I guess I'm just going to put this back inside the box, and then we'll get, these are our little atoms and elements here. Looks like they're all nicely packed. These are the only loose ones. All right, there's the magnetic. So they're supposed to like connect really easily there. There's a little oxygens, orange oxygens. We've got all those there. And it looks like they can like put little things down in the holes there. We've got a couple silicons, some yellow sulfur there. It's nice they made that yellow because we know sulfur is a yellow powder in elemental form. Green chlorine. Couple chlorines. We got green fluorines. We've got phosphorus there. What are these blues? Nitrogens. We got three nitrogens, two fluorines, two phosphorus. These cool looking colors. These are, oh, carbons. I like that. I like the orange and gray. That's a cool color. We've got a lot of hydrogens in here. Little H's there. Let's see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 hydrogens and two beryllium's Ooh, look that's kind of clear that's kind of cool i wonder why there might be reasons for that and then magnesium's two magnesium's also with the clear little magnet things and there's no spot there's no uh there's no magnetic spot to attach this it's just only going to attach to other ones that's probably got a chemistry reason to it huh back here we've got two lithiums also with the clear ones it looks like the metals that are gonna have the extra valence electrons, like these are the valence electrons. And it looks like they're not going to have a place to attach because they're just trying to get rid of those valence electrons. So these are gonna be like being given out. And then we've got two sodiums there. Okay, let's try to calibrate it. So my phone is like, hey, I don't, I don't wanna stay on anymore. Here we go. All right, so it says here, to calibrate your molecule scanner, you'll need the happy atoms mat or white paper and the helium, neon, and argon atoms. So those are the loose ones in here. So we've got, here's our helium, neon, and argon. Those are three, uh, they have no spots to attach because those are noble gases. That's pretty cool. 
Noble gases don't like to uh, think. Okay, so we're gonna hit okay. Okay, and then it's got nice music here. I'm liking that, nice and chill. Nice background music. Calibrate device, helium neon argon. Lay down the happy atoms mat. Okay, we got that laid down. Place the helium neon and argon atoms on the mat. We got them on the mat. Got them on the mat, okay. Now what? Okay, make sure all atoms are visible and take a picture. And there's a little thing flashing at us to take a picture. So that's pretty cool, this is pretty easy. I like to access the camera, okay. Okay, take a picture of helium neon and argon. All right, so here we go. Let's maybe, let's maybe, let's give it a fair shot. So let's get these, let's get these, one here, one here, and one here. And I don't know if the, I don't know if the letters need to be up, but we'll kind of try to do that too. All right, let's see how it does with this. Okay, so we're gonna take a picture. Hopefully that looks pretty good lined up. Now my, my shadow of my arm is on it, but let's see, let's see how it does. Tap the helium, neon, and argon atoms. Okay, so we're gonna do it in the order they said, just in case that matters. Here's the helium, uh, neon, there's the neon, and then the argon. Tap the scan button on the right. Hopefully this is the scan button, I guess. Whoops, something looks a bit off. Try resetting the camera and taking another picture. Okay, let's give it a try. Oh, so it, it didn't misidentified one as, well, two of them as hydrogen, the neon's okay. Okay, we're gonna tap the scan button on the right. We're gonna give this another shot. This is the this is the issue that most people had with the set. Hopefully, I know they didn't update. So hopefully, this is gonna be okay. Well, let's see. I'm gonna try to get the get my arm out of the no shadow there. All right, and we'll get them a little closer. Okay, let's give it another shot here. Okay, here we go. Tap the helium. Tappity. Ooh, hopefully that's good enough. Uh, neon, tappity. Oh, I got that one right in the middle. Argon. Mm. Okay, scan it. Come on, big money, big money, no whammies, no whammies. Oh, it got it, it got it. Helium, argon, neon. That's all correct. Continue. Okay. Okay, now this guy came up earlier before we started. He was on there when it first opened the app ever, setting up Harper, hits his name. Great job, you know what you're doing. Next, Andy is going to walk you through building your first molecule, good luck. Continue. Okay, it's Andy, hiya, it's great to meet you. I'm Andy and I'll show you how to put together a molecule. First, you'll need a new few atoms because molecule, a molecule always has at least two atoms in it. Building a molecule, Andy, are you ready to make a molecule? Don't worry, it's not too hard. If the molecule in the scanner looks blurry, tap the screen to focus the image on snapping a picture. Continue. Oh, and make sure to cover all of the bonding sites on each atom with arms from other atoms. The bonding sites are the shiny flat magnets on the surface of the atom. Okay. Make sure to cover those. Okay, so we're gonna get, oh, we're gonna get water. Two hydrogens, oxygen. Okay. All right, we're gonna hit okay on that. Okay, we got the white paper. Get out the oxygen. That's the cool orange one. I love these orange ones. They're cool. There's the O for oxygen. We got it. We'll get these noble gases out of here. Okay, what do we got here? Um, all right, create a single bond by attaching a hydrogen to an open bonding site, the magnet. So let's get a hydrogen. Boop. Attach the second hydrogen to the other bonding site. We'll get another hydrogen. Boop. There we go to complete the molecule. All right, so, all right, we're gonna go ahead and do this. So we're gonna use our hydrogen there, the H, and it's got to attach to that bonding site. Uh, these magnets are pretty good too, they're pretty strong. Let's get that site going there too, okay. Oh, that's good. I mean, look at that, we can shake it. It's, it's holding pretty good, I like that. Okay, and then let's get this one. All right. All right, there's our water. Pretty fun. Okay, now we gotta lay it out like, <laughs> I mean, like that, I guess. That's, it's kinda like two dimensional picture with our 3D things. Let's see how this works. All right, let's try to scan it. We'll hit the, hit the thing, take a picture of the water molecule. I'll get my arm, my shadow out of there, and let's see, come on, big money, no whammies. Tap each atom, then tap the scan button on the right. 
have the hydrogen and oxygen atoms. Hydrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, scan it. Hey, 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 it works. H, H, O, synthesize. I don't know what that means, but let's find out. Oh, this is pretty cool. Molecule built. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now it's got not what you built option there in case that messed up, discover. I don't know what that means. So this is cool. Oh. Hey, what is this? Calibration complete. Nice work. See, that wasn't so bad. You're off to a great start. Now we can take a closer look and examine the water molecule you made. Continue. Okay, so at this point, um, you know, I think, I think we've, we're pretty good here as far as the unboxing goes. It looks like the calibration is working. It looks like we're able to identify these molecules. They're, they're pretty quality. Like these are nice and sturdy. I think they're gonna hold up to students in my classroom using these, connecting and disconnecting and, and using these a lot. So I'm pretty excited about this set, pretty happy with it right now. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully uh, you can tell if it's something that you're interested in as well. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye now.